Ocean Africa. Hello, it's another week and with it another round of COVID-19 news updates. I am Dr. Thomas Tego, neuroscientist and co-founder at GH Scientific. This week, we will be looking at the new vaccines that have become available in Ghana. Take a trip around the continent to look at case counts and lastly end up in Japan to check in on the Olympics. The Ghana Food and Drugs Authority has recently approved two more COVID vaccines for importation, distribution and use in Ghana. These are the Moderna vaccine known as Spikevax and the Pfizer BioNTech vaccine known as Cominati. That makes a total of five vaccines that are authorized for use in Ghana. This is great as the president has indicated a desire to ramp up vaccinations during the third quarter of the year. The third wave is no joke. There are currently 718,000 active cases in Africa and deaths have risen to over 170,000. South Africa has the highest number of active cases, around 150,000, while countries like Sao Tome, Chad and Burkina Faso have less than 100 cases each. With over 170,000 confirmed deaths across the continent, it's becoming harder to find someone who hasn't lost a loved one to COVID-19. Now to Japan, where the 2020 Olympics are being held in 2021 because COVID. Japan has had to extend emergency measures as there has been a spike in COVID-19 cases. Tokyo, the capital of Japan, is currently in its fourth official state of emergency which is expected to last until 31st August. Measures in place include a ban on alcohol in bars and reduced opening hours for both bars and restaurants. Now, here's something to get you thinking. Not all COVID tests are made equal. Specifically, the lateral flow test, which is used in rapid detection test kits, can be fooled to read a false positive test result. All you need is to expose it to a soft drink of your choice which has a high acidity content. Until next week, stay safe and remember to wash your hands regularly, wear your nose mask and keep some physical distance between yourself and others. I am Dr. Thomas Tego and this has been your weekly COVID-19 news update. Notion Africa.